Man, I want to uh, take a moment and make a quick video about um, the flooding in Dubai. Mm. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've been to Dubai uh, within the past year. Uh, I believe uh, summertime last year I went to Dubai. It was my first time in Dubai. Uh, I will say this. Um, Dubai is a desert. If uh, anybody ever showed you like things to do in Dubai, things whatever's going on in Dubai, Dubai is a desert. You're going to the desert. This is Saudi Arabia, Arabian Nights, uh, you know, the Aladdin. It's all that. Dubai is all that. It's a desert. Right when you step off, um, I think I went in November, December. Hot. I still feel the heat. It wasn't it was cool at nights, but it was still hot. Uh, no clouds really. Like rain is not even a thing that I even thought of. Uh, but also, it's a lot of dust in the sky. It's a lot of dust in the sky. So, um, you know, it's a desert. Uh, with that being said, um, let's just strictly talk about the flooding. Uh, to see the pictures of the airport uh, being flooded, to see the cars trying to get out of there, um, driving through the streets. I seen houses, which I don't know the size of the houses, but I seen houses with water up to the roof. And uh, what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to say... Uh, for what I know, um, Dubai, I don't think they ever expect rain. They said they got a year's worth of rain in one day, which is going to cause flooding. So I don't think they their infrastructure is made for um, flooding. Uh, again, I've been to the marina. Uh, I've been to Atlantis out there. Um, I've been to the beach uh, with the giant Ferris wheel. Forgot the name of the beach. But, um, yeah, I can only imagine all of that being flooded like um, a lot of Dubai has a lot of markets where they sell like you know uh, Arabian clothes like on the streets like that you could kind of walk a market um, I can't even see them preparing to like saying hey let's just close the gates and we'll come back tomorrow but if that much rain fell where it soaked it, a lot of money got lost Dubai has lost a lot of money um, I do feel bad for the tourists that are out there in the city expecting to leave uh, Dubai, they say it's expensive. It's not really expensive. Um, the dollar to dollar ratio, as far as American dollars, what you might buy over there, it's probably the same as what it is in America. Um, what a drink may cost, what some food may cost. Uh, it's probably about the same, but as a tourist, I'm assuming you're expecting to spend money. Um, like Uber, they have Uber over there. Uber, it costs about the same amount it would cost to get from A to Z in, you know, in America. It probably costs the same to get from A to Z in Dubai. Um, they got taxes as well. But I know they do drive crazy in Dubai. They drive crazy. Anybody who's been to Dubai, they know that people drive aggressive. Aggressive. You think New York is aggressive. People in Dubai drive like bats out of hell, literally. Um, but with that being said, um, yeah, no, I don't think they foresaw this coming as far as this much water, this much uh, rainfall. Um, again, I... You know, Dubai is a beautiful city. The technology is is crazily advanced. Uh, the buildings are, the architecture is like what a kid would draw up, like just making up a comic book city. That's the kind of architecture they really built out there. Um, and they're still building. But I will say this, it is still, it's not a third world country. Um, again, it's a big tourist city. They have some of the best infrastructure stuff that's there as far as monorails and things and transportation and stuff like that. But, you know, it's still, you know, it's still Dubai. It's not America. It's just one city out of a whole country. So uh, to see this much rainfall, um, it lets me know, man, either global warming is happening or we're at the end of times. We're at the end of days, you know, 40, 40 days, 40 nights type stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I, I pray for all those in Dubai. I pray for all the businesses out there. I pray for anybody who's been affected by that much rainfall. Um, geez, I mean, just looking at the video, uh, Man, it's, it's it's a lot of rain. To see planes sliding through water where the whole runway is flooded. I mean, how do you even direct the plane to, to land? Uh, or even those planes coming in to Dubai. I feel bad for those guys as well. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, a lot of rain, man. Uh, it's crazy. We're seeing a lot of things that we probably haven't seen uh, just in the last few years that, you know, we you know haven't been seen in decades and I'm, I'm not saying Dubai's never got this much rain it probably has but to see it at this level um, it always reminds me on how quickly things can be destroyed you know it could take years to build something um, and it could take just a second of mother nature to bring it down uh, look at the bridge in uh, 
Baltimore. Probably took years to build. And in a second, one bump, gone. So when you look at it like that, man, uh, I'm praying for those out there in Dubai, praying for all those camels that, you know, people ride just to take a picture. Uh, pray for, you know, all the carpets that are being sold uh, as magic carpets, you know, for those who buy into that. Probably wet as hell now. It is what it is. But with that being said, uh, I know people follow from Dubai. Uh, y'all jump in the comments, man. Let me know how it's going out there. Let me know how y'all are coping. Uh, share some more pictures. Uh, please post on your social medias. And drop some of your social medias. Let us watch and see what's going on in real time. But uh, with that being said, prayers up for Dubai. Uh, you know, we'll go from there. And uh, yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Prayers up.